Hi, I'm Marta Carrillo, an artist at Self-Help Graphics and Art in Boyle Heights, Los Angeles. Today, you will learn how to tie-dye with Sharpies. The materials you'll be needing today are rubber bands, a white cotton shirt or mask, or a pencil pouch, which we provided. Anything that is made of a natural fiber will work. Sharpie or any permanent markers, rubbing alcohol, spoon, metal fork, and a bowl or cup. You want to begin by covering your surface with newspaper or a large trash bag. It might get a little messy. First you take your article of clothing or object that you're going to be tie-dyeing and you want to take the metal fork. Find the place where you want to make that spiral happen. You're going to stab it there and you're going to twist. You're going to twist and control as it goes into the spiral. You want to make sure you're tucking and making it nice and neat so that it can have a good hold. Once you have a nice little spiraled ball, almost like noodles on a fork, then you can take the fork out, keeping it nice and tight with your hand, and adding rubber bands. The rubber bands are going to create sections, right? So one first across up and down, may, maybe then make an X with another one crossing that, and then you add another two rubber bands or so, making different sections. You will add color to each section with Sharpies. You have to consider how colors will blend together when deciding placement. For example, a blue and yellow will make green in between. But you may not want to put a purple next to an orange since that becomes kind of just muddy. It doesn't give it uh, a new color. Uh, so consider those options as you're placing colors next to each other. You will take your spoon and your bowl or cup, add some alcohol to that, and you're going to spoon by spoon carefully, trying to go section by section, saturating that section, so that it bleeds into the next section. You don't want to dip the whole thing because it might just all mush together. You want to do it very carefully. And once you see that it has enough alcohol, maybe even dripping a bit, you want to stop there and unravel. So this is the fun part. You take each rubber band off and unravel the surprise. <laughs> You let it dry in the sun. The heat and sun will set the color. Once it's dry, you may want to throw it into a dryer for about 20, 30 minutes, or just run a hot iron over that. That will just make sure the color sets. <laughs> 